Hey there, it's Kelly Ruta here, founder and CEO of Fierce Chick Coaching, where I teach women worldwide how to face and overcome their fears so that they can live powerful, passionate, and purpose-driven lives. Welcome to the first episode of the Three Minute Mentor. I get asked the same questions over and over all the time by people that I interact with online, my clients, people at speaking engagements, colleagues, friends, whatever. And also lately I've been getting requests to put some video together so I figured I would kill two birds with one stone and start answering some of these questions here on video. One of the questions I get asked most often is, hey, you've got two kids, two businesses, a husband, a house, a social life. How do you keep it together? You always look like you've got your shit together. Well, the truth is, I don't. I'm like everybody else. I'm trying my best and I'm trying to better my best all the time. I think the more important thing that is underneath this question though is what's driving it and that's one word, comparison. So I want you to think about that a second. Isn't the truth that we women are out comparing ourselves to other women all the time? Other entrepreneurs, other moms, other wives, what they look like, what they act like, how successful they are, how clean their house is. We do this all the time. And one of my very favorite quotes is that comparison is the thief of joy. In Fierce Chick Coaching, I'm always teaching women how to live more passionate and joyful and powerful lives. And I see comparison as one of the biggest ways we rob ourselves of personal power. Because when you think about it, when you're comparing yourself to someone else, you're typically falling short. So your action step for this week is this. I want you to really spend some time honestly thinking about the dialogue that goes on in your head. As you go throughout your day, ask yourself, wow, am I really doing that? Am I comparing myself to other women all the time? And am I falling short? And if you are doing that, it's totally okay. This is your first step towards changing it, acknowledging it and noticing it. The next thing I want you to do is respond to yourself in a new and compassionate way with three of my favorite words. I am enough. It may feel a little uncomfortable. You might not believe it yet, but this is where you start by changing your thoughts. The third thing I want you to do is go below and leave a comment and let's get this discussion started. Let's become each other's greatest advocates rather than undercutting each other and becoming each other's obstacles. I can't wait to have this conversation with you and in the meantime, go out and be fierce.